I look horrifying. Anyways. <laughs> Hello, I am Erica, I am I, and I am flustered. As you can tell by the title, I don't know why I chose to do eyeliner while I'm doing this part. As you can tell by the title, my friend and I are going to a Eliza Schlesinger show tonight, which is of course very exciting. So I thought that it would be fun to make a little vlog about it because I feel like a drive-in comedy show is something that probably once the pandemic is over will never happen again. So I thought why not document it for us all. I saw Liza Schlesinger a couple years ago in Milwaukee and she just absolutely killed it. I mean, she always does the best job. She is, my friend and I is one of our favorite comedians. So I feel like it's gonna be a blast. Yeah, so I'm just getting ready now. I look insane because I'm not done. Not that when I'm done, I'll look less insane, but you feel what I mean. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to makeup. <laughs> This is brand new. I mean, I'm not gonna put the Kylie lip kit on yet because I do have to still eat lunch. So this was probably a bad idea as well, but I like started very late getting ready. I'm probably gonna have to straighten my hair during therapy, which will either be a concern to my therapist. No, that's just it. It's probably just gonna be a concern to my therapist, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I have to look good to go sit in the back of a car in the dark. <laughs> Okay, so spoiler alert, I did have to straighten my hair during therapy. It was a heavy session. Speaking of which, I'm making kind of a more serious video next week. Um, I hope you all will tune into it. Uh, there will be charities to donate to next week in the link below, so please check that out obviously once it's posted but enough about next week and therapy my therapist told me i look like alicia silverstone but i think i have my outfit figured out okay so everything's inside out so hang on i have a pile of trash in my room and i'm not just saying that about myself there's a literal pile of trash because I, mean, I don't i like throw things away in shopping bags but i never like they never make it to the dumpster so that's the goal for tomorrow but okay so i got these I don't know, they're black high-waisted skinny jeans. This is why I hate clothing companies so much. I range from a size one to a size five, and my size one guess jeans um, are fitting a bit tight. I usually wear them in competition prep, uh, so it makes sense why they would be a little bit tight because I have no body fat then, but I got these and they're like super stretchy. And then I got this. We were gonna dress like true party goblins, like in club wear, but it has begun raining a bit. Um, and it is chilly because I live in the Midwest where, of course, when you have plans on one day, it likes to rain and be freezing, but, and I thought that this was so, like, cute. It's like a plaid sweater moment with a hood, but it's like sheepra, and it's so soft. So let me change into this really quick and then I'm gonna show you guys the shoes. Wow, this lighting is just awful. Do you ever try so hard to be a functioning person and you just can't? That is me today. So I put my hair back just so I remember a scrunchie, but let me set you on the floor and see what happens. I wasn't sure about these boots. They're the Ugg Pure, but I don't know. I think they work. I think they're pretty like, I think they're pretty nice. I don't know. There's not gonna be much walking because it's a drive-in show, but um, it's not massively raining. I don't think it's going to either, thank God. So I was going to wear a small purse, but you guys, aka my camera, my little blocking camera, actually won't fit in my small purse unless I disconnect the lens and everything, and I don't have time. So we're gonna take Old Faithful with us. She's cute, I got her at TJ Maxx. She's kind of, um, she's like a boxier style. That's the fit with the boots. Speaking of merch tables and stuff, I obviously want to vlog in there, but I know that even though it's an outdoor theater that I've been going to for 25 years, um, they might be a little bit weird just with the venue, and I know that comedy shows, they sometimes don't even allow cameras in, so good old trusty iPhone. For some reason, you're allowed to film everything on your iPhone, and nobody has an issue with that, so. But yeah, my friend, KT, you have seen her before in my Walmart vlog, is going to pick me up. Let's just see where the night takes us. I'm so excited. I love Liza. This is gonna be a blast. You look just so artistically beautiful right now. <laughs> Oh 
We're here. Oh Hi. my god. I didn't know if I was allowed to bring my camera over there. Oh hey! We're not in the dead back. Yeah, not dead, dead back. Not dead, dead. That'd be why, worse. Oh, why are these rows not? <laughs> yeah. Do you take hundreds? If you want that. Okay, can I have uh, just a medium t shirt uh, and a mask? Yeah. Oh, one extra large left. Okay. This is 20. Okay. Okay. We've got. There you go. Thank there you, you go. so much. Uh, I needed merch. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me see what it's it. cheap. No, it's cute. No, 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 it's no. got snow peach on it. It's like literally the same. It's got her on it. You're right. It's better. <laughs> Look at your butt. It just looks fantastic. <laughs> this is the worst angle of my face. Running <laughs> home uh, right mm -hmm. in the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just said something very Midwestern, though. That I need to document. What did you just say about the weather? Would it's it like, would oh. it would it not be that bad without the wind? Yeah, it wouldn't be that bad without the wind. It's like you're from Illinois or something. Welcome Ew, to Illinois. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Eater Bob. <laughs> you want to be the bite? You had it me out. Mm, don't put that in there. I hate people watching me eat. Like, you I'm didn't even eat on camera. No, you did. No, you yeah. didn't. It's only yeah. picking up on you and not me. I'm fuzzy. Cheers, man. White claw over truly. To see if I know anybody. Cheers, mom. Um, for the money. money? Dink. <laughs> yeah, I haven't recognized a single person, and this is a pretty small in town, bro. Yeah, it's that's why they made it put in a second show. We, yeah. I miss the club. <laughs> We are so fucking stoked to be here. This is my my like second time out of the house in six months. So thank you for this excuse. Uh, if you guys, if we haven't met before, my name's Hunter. I'm Oz's opener. Hey, dude. We need to go to the hospital right now. So we go to the emergency room, and I don't know if you guys have ever been six foot four and walked into an emergency room with a hysterical wife. But the first thing they do is they point at her and go, did he hurt you? <laughs> you guys make it loud right now for my friend, Eliza. Illinois, I'll be like, oh, Wisconsin, and then they're like, we're 10 minutes from Wisconsin. I'm like, Ohio. I don't want to get in between. Who quarantined? Raise your hand. <laughs> they're laughing. They're like, no. <laughs> Look where we are. Every girl, it doesn't matter who you are, every girl in this, where are we in? An abandoned field? Every girl <laughs> at this cow prom. Like we're up here, like I'm gonna lose a tooth. So here, wait. Is that Tinkerbell? What? It's on me. <laughs> <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> oh, it's back. Well, anyway, what do you do? Car sales. Car salesman? Yeah. Is this where you work? Are we disrupting your work? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear the rest of it. All that, the only thing that works is my joke. Do people always ask you to hook them up with cars? Oh man, if we were in a theater, my point would be so proven. You'd be like, yeah, and you guys would be like, wow, we're proud work. We tried. It's tough. What about the guy next to you? What about the guy standing next to you? What do you do? Did you just look? You're standing to his immediate left and you just went, do you work with him at the car lot or do you have another job? He's one of your customers. <laughs> Yes, ma'am? Bro, I think I found her. <gasps> I think she's eating. I think her and Hunter are standing up against I her. love that she's eating. Yeah, see? There's Hunter. You don't exactly. get those quads Hunter's by not eating. I love totally her so hurt. much. Oh my god! She's so pretty! Holy shit. Oh my god. Hi there, it's Editing Erica again. I know I'm popping in a lot in this video and I wanted to state, um, I didn't feel right filming her, me meeting her without her knowing and like filming her without her knowing. I think that that's a very rude and intrusive to assume just because somebody's a celebrity that they automatically want to be on camera with you. So instead of a video of me meeting her, please enjoy these photos of me meeting her and me sobbing and her hugging me because I was crying so hard. So cue those photos now. <laughs> Oh,
I am so close. Okay, so what you just saw, me meeting her, I literally sobbed. Um, she's the nicest person and literally so sweet. Her show absolutely killed. It was the best time. I got some merch, obviously. She hugged me, which was against COVID like regulations, but it was so nice of her. It was just the best night. Her new set killed. It was all new material. Her new set killed. It was absolutely amazing. I wanted to conclude this video because I am very exhausted and wanting to go to bed. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Erica's Odd, same way it's spelled here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.